Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to configure AccuZip to get speeds of up to 1,000 to 2,000 records per second CAS certifying. It's truly amazing. Now what you'll need is either a memory stick or a RAM disk partition. So the easiest way to do it is through a memory stick. You can go buy those at Staples or Office Max uh, or any electronic store. So the first thing I want to do is double click on the program files folder and, and, and get into the AccuZip 6 5.0 folder. Now inside the AccuZip 5.0 folder there's a new folder called AMS Data. You double click on that. And then you want to go ahead and select the DPHE files and the two LCD files. So there's seven files in total. What you'll do is you'll copy those and you'll place them on your uh, memory stick. Now you can place them on your memory stick or you can place them in memory uh, using products like RAM disk which takes a portion of your physical memory and creates a disk basically so you can drag and drop files to memory. When you restart your computer naturally the files are still there because they're read from your hard drive and placed back into memory. The cool thing about this is is that utilizing the memory stick or the RAM disk you're going to obtain speeds um, of up to 2,000 records per second on coding or otherwise uh, you wouldn't. Now the reason it's so um, it's much significantly slower <clears throat> without moving these files over to a memory stick is because each time the software obtains a ZIP plus 4 match it then has to hit the DPV files to confirm the address eight times. So it has to hit it eight times for each one address match. So by having these files in memory significantly speeds up that process. So once these files have copied over I'm going to go ahead and open up the AccuZip software and tell AccuZip where these files are. I only do that once. Each time you receive a new DVD and you install it, AccuZip will default back to your uh, hard disk location so you'll have to copy these files back onto your thumb drive and point to it again. Okay, the files are copied over. Now I'm going to go ahead and open the AccuZip software. I'm going to click cancel at the opening screen and then pull down my file menu down to properties. Under the USPS links tab, I'm going to change the path to the DPV by selecting the button and browsing to my memory stick. And in this case, it's on drive letter G. I'm going to go ahead and select the DPV the DPHE file and then it inserts the path here. I'm going to go ahead and click connect to verify the, the data's integrity and I'm going to click OK then OK. That's all there is to it. The next time you cast certify your files you'll be blown away.